caravan vlogging. Hi, welcome to the vlog. Right, I think if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm certainly not a clickbaity type of vlogger. So you'd have seen the um, the thumbnail. So I, I was I was adding a bit of jeopardy really by putting you know which has been stolen. Um, but I think you've probably guessed by now. I'm sitting in the caravan. So obviously that means one of them has been stolen and it's a tow car. A tow car, a GLC, a GLC has been stolen from the drive. Absolute freaking nightmare. I think we're Sunday now and it got stolen early hours of Thursday morning. Um, we'd been to Ferry Meadows, hopefully you've seen the vlog. If not, there's a link up there. Um, where we Easter weekend, really nice long weekend at Easter. Now, a couple of weeks before that, we were at Ferry Meadows as well and met some uh, nice people, some subscribers and Facebook group members, just off by chance. And just as we pulled up, I got a text from my brother telling me that my niece had died from a heart attack, sudden sort of death. Now she's probably, well, the, the way the age group goes with me and two brothers, the eldest one has passed, um, his daughter, who, who died from the heart attack. Um, so there's seven years between us, so she was uh, 50 one um uh, you know uh, <laughs> i mean is there an award for the unluckiest person in the world let me let me i'll just check if there is one uh yes there, oh, there is one and actually i have been awarded congratulations me so april what a fucking night oh, i better beep that out what a nightmare if you've been with us for a while you'll know that last april april the first actually we wrote the caravan was written off by someone going into the back of me We've got a new caravan now. So a year later, a year and three weeks after that, the car gets stolen. So, I mean, my God. So within a year, we'll have had a different car and a different caravan, even though it's the same caravan. I mean, how's, how's your luck? It's just like, anyway, I've been taught not to curse your luck because it gets worse. I think it actually was in a Sting song, but you know, that's where sometimes we learn our, our best life lessons, right, in songs. So um, I've taken. It's taken me a few days to make this vlog because, as with the caravan, right, the caravan off. It is if you've had a car or caravan stolen or damaged or anything, it is like a bereavement. I know it. I know it sounds a bit dramatic, but it really is. So I mean, we got the car, the GLC. It's 2017. It was a 350D, um, white. If you see it, keep your eye out. <laughs> and I'm sure it's long gone by now. But anyway, we bought it. We were fortunate enough to buy it new, and. As I bought it new, we'd specified um, a lot of individual things to us to make the car exactly what we wanted it. Now, one of the things was, uh, they call it air body control, which is air suspension. So we had that fitted because in previous cars, we found that it's very bouncy when towing. Well, this was absolute dream to tow. Um, big enough, but not too big. Um, but lots of other things like um, uh, LED lights, uh, obviously a tow bar, um, a few other things, I can't remember, there's a list of uh, uh, upgraded wheels, you know, you know what it's like sometimes when you just want to get, the plan was in 2017, however old I was four years ago, actually I can work it out, 54, it'd be kind of a few years until I retire, so we thought, now we got it on PCP, as a lot of people do, on finance, which was up in November last year. So we were again fortunate enough to be able to pay off the balloon payment because we wanted to own the car. Because they're going to just going to keep it now. Reliable car, we've had it regularly serviced, no problems with it. And this is all making it just a bit worse, isn't it? So anyway, these are the facts. So I'll slip in some CCTV here of them taking it, our CCTV. So neighbours also had CCTV and it looks like they've um, they had some sort of laptop and uh, you know they they were on the drive, I think it took them, I think Manny said one minute and 20 seconds for them to get in the car and just back it off the drive and, and drive off. So of course we woke up Thursday, early hours Thursday morning, noticed it had gone. Oh, not a nightmare. 
um, called to, obviously called the police straight away, got a crime number so I could then call the insurance company. Now I'd remembered that um, the Mercedes has an app, Mercedes Me, and on that, the car has, I call it a tracker. I don't know if it's a tracker in the traditional way that tracker, you know, there's no one monitoring where it is or anything, but you yourself, if you forget to park it, where you forget where you park it, I've done it myself, got off at the wrong tube station, and where the hell have I parked it? And you can find where the car is. So, of course, I thought, well, that's handy. Maybe I, and when I looked, the car was two miles away. I thought, a little shits. What they've done is they've, because uh, dri- I've read that they do this, they've driven it away somewhere, somewhere, hide it, leave it for a few hours till the heat's down, then go and move it. So I quickly jumped in Mandy's car, obviously. Yeah. Naive and your brain's not working properly. I mean, obviously what they've done, they've taken the tracker out. So they know where it is, right? They know where, I mean, what's the point of having all this security when it can so easily get bypassed? You know, I, I, you, the whole lot, whole thing goes in your mind, goes through, you know, you, why aren't manufacturers doing enough to make these cars that they can't be stolen easily? You know, and what they the conclusion I've come to is that insurance companies, car manufacturers, they don't really have an incentive to make it any safer. Why? Because if there's a group of one thousand people, for example, paying car insurance, I don't know, five hundred pound a year, and maybe ten of those people get their car stolen, then it's just the other. 990 people that are basically paying for that car to be replaced with their premiums because they're not ever claiming on the insurance. Then, in Mercedes, in Mercedes, for example, my car gets stolen, I'll go on another one. Where do I go? I'll go to Mercedes. Oh, I might not, but you know, chances are I'll probably go back to Mercedes. They get a car sale. The company, the insurance company, is still making a profit because they don't give a crap. Um, and it's all like a... And nobody ever gets taken to justice because they just disappear into the night. The car... Change, number plates changed and no police car is going to pick it up because it ain't going to have my number plates on it. As I said to Mandy, the car's probably gone on the ferry sooner than we do. I mean, that's gone. So they are. Tow car stolen. So I ring the police, take all the details. Um, I've got CCTV. Text me, can you send the CCTV to this email address, Essex Police? Send up the CCTV I just showed you earlier. The police uh, replied to me, thanks for sending it through. Shame you didn't get the faces on there. Um, the case is now closed, pending there, blah, blah, blah. And so the case is closed. So whoever these people are, they've just gone. And a uh, 33,000 pound car disappeared into the ether. I mean, I don't blame the police. I don't know what the police are supposed to do. Well, they're not going to put helicopters up for because my car's missing, are they? And in any case, six hours' time, it could have been um, anywhere. So neighbour CCTV, show them on my drive, mucking about, speak to somebody that lives maybe three or four doors down, and they check their CCTV, and they've got a Mercedes GLE, the bigger one, um, just a year old. And they were sniffing around that for about... Well, for quite a while, looking, I think because they had maybe they had some other vehicles on the drive set, so probably wasn't quite as easy. But I think that's the one they were after. And you know, oh look, there's another one. We'll just have that. I mean, bloody hell! And then other people got CCTV of the car just driving away, no lights on, because we're kind of semi-rural here, no street lights. So I mean, but we have, we have two lights, um, what they called, you know, lights outside the house, so are on all night. Um. One of the neighbor CCTV, you can see the guy like going up to a light and using the light to look on his laptop. I mean, they're as bold as brass, and they were. And also, kind of convenient. It's kind of fortunate that you don't really catch these people doing it because hundred percent they're going to have another three people in the car tooled up. You come out in your dressing gown with your, I don't know, mobile phone, or it, and they you know, knock you to the ground and beat the shit out of you. So you have no car and end up in hospital. Anyway, it does, well, as you can imagine, and I, I, know, I think a few people that watch this have probably had their car stolen as well, a similar sort of um, keyless entry kind of um, fiasco. So, of course, that obviously gets the wind up here. So that night I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, they're going to come back for the caravan. 
because you're not thinking particularly rationally. So I go straight online, order another two Nemesis locks for the caravan, uh, remove the jockey wheel, because um, it just gets inside your head. But, so now I've got a caravan with four Nemesis locks on. You know, uh, I know if you want to steal it, they're going to, but it might take them a little bit longer. But, you know, these things are like, well, 120 quid each or something. It's like 240 quid you have about to spend immediately to just try and stop anything else going. It's bloody lawless. Anyway. This is going to be a short vlog. But they are. Rent over. <sighs> sort of. So we're Sunday now. And I'm feeling much better about it. Um, feeling a lot more positive about it. Hopefully we'll get a good... I mean, the insurance company, I think they said it'll be two weeks to get evaluation. I mean, it won't take... Obviously, it won't take two weeks to get evaluation. I think they leave that two weeks just to make sure you don't get the car back. I mean, how am I going to get it back? How, how, what, what mechanism is there for anyone to recover that vehicle if the number plates aren't on it? You know, the car... I mean, it's got... It's going to need the police to pull the car over for some reason and then... Um, you know, check that the number plates don't match the car and then check the VIN number and then get, you know, no way. But, I mean, the insurance were very nice, compassionate, as were the police. Can't fault anything that they do on the phone. And I don't know how proactive they can be about it anyway, to be honest. Professional gangs, gone. So, anyway, the... Um, Caravan has improved security. <laughs> so hunt for a new car goes on goes on now. I've started looking, but at the moment I don't know exactly how much the insurance will give me. Well, I've got an idea. If it's market value, I know how much it will be. So I've got some idea. Now I did go off this morning to look at, um, there's a quite a large 4x4 dealer in Chelmsford, which is only a half hour from us. I was gonna vlog, um, you know, maybe a fifteen-part vlog of me looking at cars. <laughs> no, not not honestly. I was just gonna gonna say, but I was just wasn't actually. Basically, I forgot. I took the camera with me and just uh, you know, it's just my head is just not in the right place at the moment. Getting there though. So it's only a car. It could be worse. Nobody died, and uh, well, every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> But that, well, I don't. I don't think at the moment that I want the same car. I could get obviously the, exactly the same car because we did love it. Um, but yeah, you're always going to be. It's just going to be comparing. I know. I know they're cookie cutter cars, right? So every single one is exactly the same. I mean, I know it has had it has had a few things that customised it, but I could, you know, I could. I think I could get a car exactly the same, roughly speaking, maybe a different colour, but. I think you'd always be like, uh, it's like, um, actually not exactly the same, but years ago we had a dog, a Hungarian Vizsla, who sadly passed away about four, five, six years ago maybe, and we just haven't been able to get one and get another dog, and secondly, I don't think we'd be able to get, we definitely wouldn't get another Hungarian Vizsla, because you'd always be comparing the new dog with your, your old best friend, you know, and I think this is going to be, it would be similar with the car, I'd constantly be thinking, Oh, I don't think my car made that. I don't think our old car made that noise. I don't think... Any ideas of a new tow car? Pop it in the comments below if you wouldn't mind. Because I really don't know... I don't want to get something too radical. Um, budget isn't... In, I mean, budget isn't new car budget. Certainly not. Still. The best laid plans of mice and men. Is that a saying? So these plans I had for, to keep the GLC until basically I couldn't drive anymore. I mean, I mean, even if it was like 10, 15 years old, I think it'd have still been okay as long as I'd have kept it on the road and, and in good order. I'll um, keep you up to date with what, how the... Um, in fact, what I'll do now, I'll play a little bit. Um, this morning I was in the car. I was deciding to vlog the, my looking for a new car journey, but um, forgot and decided against it. So I'll play that. All right, excuse the shades. Um, <clears throat> to try and drag myself out of uh, probably one of the worst weeks we've had in a long time, having a car stolen, I'm going to have a look at some potential replacements. Now, nothing's come through from the insurance company yet, but I've just got a. I feel like I've just got to do something at the moment. So, I've had a. I had a. I looked on. So there's a, a four by four dealer quite near us in Chelmsford. They had two cars that I was looking at. I rang them this morning, and both have been sold. <laughs> so they do have quite a lot 
Um, although I'm not really in a position to buy this week, um, they do have quite a lot to look at. So the idea is I just go and have a look at some cars. We're not really keen on, well, I'm not really keen on getting a GLC again at the moment. Now that might change in the, the next week or so. I'm expecting, from me talking now, I'm expecting the money to be sorted out in within two weeks, hopefully. So we'll see then exactly what we've got um, to as a budget. So until then, I'll just uh, I'll just keep getting as much information as I can. It's a big big decision, and don't want to get it wrong. I'm towing that monster. I think, as you can see there, actually, I put another two locks on. So now I've got four Nemesis locks on the caravan. The, the locks are almost worth as much as the caravan. Okay, anyway, let's get on with it. That's, uh, I'll drive to Chelmsford, about half hour away from where I am, and I'll have a look around. By the way, salesman sounded as miserable as sin. Maybe I had a hangover, but, you know, potential buyers, come on, man, pick yourself off the floor, mate. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what they're like when I get there. So there you go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. No, one thing, actually one thing I would say is that I think now with the next car, I think I'm going to have to get some kind of physical security deterrent. Like, you know, they do those um, clutch claws. I think they have, motorhomes have them. I think maybe you can get them for cars where it kind of locks the pedals. So I'm loathe to do that because it is a pain in the backside every time you want to use a car. You've got, yeah, it's like the caravan, right? Every time you want to use a caravan, you've got to take all the bleeding locks off and it's just, well, I shouldn't have to do this. But I think... For peace of mind, I'm going to have to put some physical security on the car. And I've been toying with the idea of buying the security posts as well, behind the caravan. You know, this is a frustrating thing for us, because this is a quiet rural location. And no way safe, my friend, no way safe. Lock up your belongings. But, as they say on Crime Watch, I don't know. These uh, what, what would they say? Um, car theft is a very rare thing. Actually, I don't know. It is very rare. I was looking at statistics. As I was going to bore you with those. And I think a few years ago there was something like thirty-eight thousand cars stolen. But in two thousand nineteen, there was something like seventy-eight thousand cars. I mean, there was it was a thirty-three percent rise from the year before. So these guys have got it cracked, man. And I think the auto industry needs to sort their lives out. Maybe, like, wire the car up to the main so that if anyone touches it in a, a certain time of day, they get a non-lethal electric shock. Mind you, chances are you forget to unlock it and <laughs> do it to yourself. That's the danger, isn't it? Have you, have you got any top security tips for cars, not get, for cars getting stolen? Cars not getting stolen, should I say? Let me know in the comments below. Like I say, keep you up to date. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.